How's it going guys? So we got a case over here where this patient was experiencing burning feet in both of his feet 12 years ago. That's about a year and then it resolved itself. However, a new problem started to show up where you start to have tightness starting from the bottom of the foot to the mid calf over here. You start to experience low back pain over here, tightness, a lot of the muscles over here. Four years ago, he had a microdisectomy. It only helped alleviate a small portion of his discomfort, but he still have a considerable amount of pain and tightness over here. And also the, uh, the problem started to migrate up to both of his shoulders to the point where he has a lot of trouble reaching behind his head and behind his back with this left shoulder. And to finish all off, you know, noisy workplace, because he needs to raise his voice, it causes a lot of discomfort and headaches. So let's get the ball rolling over here. So we're going to start off with this instrumentation over here and the purpose is, is there any abnormalities in temperature? And that's what we're looking for right here. There's a small one at this level. So we're going to tilt the scope because this one's chronic. And we found one right there. So we see there's a lot of asymmetry. Ideally the spine should be symmetrical, meaning the same on both sides. And yet that's not the case what we're seeing over here. So we still we feel that this is a little bit elevated, meaning it's going a little backwards on this side. Also twisted over this way here as well. The muscles are very tight all along the left side. In terms of swelling, we're looking for any pitting edema. And we're tracing down, because it's been here for quite some time, these are more chronic. So the edema, it won't be as evident. However, when we palpate and feel for these fellows, it starts to sink in right here. And we feel this little, like a speed bump. There's like a little indentation right there. We work that level. It should be smooth, and yet there is, it feels marshy over here. There's quite a bit of pooling all around the, around this region over here. I'm going to test this area over here as well. How's this fellow over here? We have it. Okay. What about the one above it? Okay. Which one's worse? This one? Yep. Or this one? Not the bottom. Okay. What about here? It, I felt tight. It's all really tight. tight. Uh, what about here? Not too bad. Uh, not, not. So, gonna move up. Go check all the structures above it. We find that this one right here is stuck. Not too bad. Go move up. Right there. Pain? Yep. Yeah. We take a look at the foundation because stable foundation uses stable structure. Unstable foundation, you start to see the zigzag going on. Everything else above is going to be unstable. So when I tested on you, we found this this fifth lumbar is still a problem. Now, even though the second lumbar we has some indications, I believe that's compensation. So we're going to try to leave that alone. But this fifth dorsal, also an issue as well. Now, this fifth lumbar over here, the nerves, they go all straight down both your legs. So that, that, so that helped explain why you felt that burning sensation in your feet 12 years ago. And then, have all the muscle tightness, the cramping going on to the mid calves, mm -hmm. to your buttocks, hips, and the low back, so on and so forth. All because of this fellow over here. Oh. So that's what we need to address this to address your problem. Next component, we need to address this one over here. That's your fifth dorsal. So we have these two shoulder blades over here. We also have the rhomboid muscles and all the other muscles and ligament structures to hold and support the scapula is in place. Now, because 
that fell over there and got knocked out of alignment and decreased the nerve function to all the muscular structures and ligaments, these scapulars have a little trouble holding them in place. So that's help explain why you experience some difficulty reaching behind your head over here and reaching behind over here as well. Yeah. Right? I understand they did a microdisectomy over here at the fifth lumbar disc. Now, bottom line is this. You see these two lines over here? Yep. They need to line up. Just like railroad tracks, they have to be in proper alignment. If it doesn't, this could be a problem. Mm -hmm. So this one over here, as we can see here, clearly evidence, this structure is still misaligned. Mm -hmm. And as a result, it's causing some instability. This is your spine over here. Normal, it should do this. Some movement. But because yours got knocked out of alignment like this, it became this unstable and affected everything from the ground upwards. So that's what we start to see the rest of your spine doing over here. The rest of your spine start to do just like this. Rotate this way, okay? And then over here, compensate it in the mid-back, start to twist this direction, and then the rest of your spine, again, because you're using your shoulders, that's why it starts to rotate right. this way again. So that's the appearance what we're seeing here. Mm. And because over here, it continued to rotate this way so much, your head rotated that way as well. However, you and I both know we can't exactly walk like this way. Right. Makes us dizzy. So your head, there's two gyroscopes in the brain. That's what keeps the head forward as much as possible. So it put a lot of pressure on the nerve and also onto the brainstem here as such. So that's why it will start to affect the nerve to the hearing and that's what, every time when you spoke up pretty loud in a loud workplace, so you get headaches. So the, so the actual real solution is we need to address this. This will help actually unravel the whole entire spine from the ground upwards, straight up to the head itself. This one we do need to address. Why? Because this is, a comp this is what we call a compensation that turned into a subluxation. This compensated for so long until it was the final straw that broke the camel's back because you were using these shoulders this one over here, knocked out. So that one we do need to address to help alleviate these symptoms over here as well. Come on up. Walk back and forth. Yeah, I can feel it right away. What can you feel right away? That it released all the pressure that was feeling right over here. On this side of the hip I was telling you before. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Oh, that's the great. Legs. Yeah. What about the, the legs, ankle, and the feet? I can, I can feel it too, so. Now I feel, you know, because I was feeling uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. Now I can feel stronger. Okay. Just going to mark that level. Put it down. And reach behind. So we see over here, everything is PR listing. Everything rotated towards this way. And that fifth dorsal right over here is the only one that turned to the left. And everything else start going back to the right as well. That's the one we need to correct. Go ahead, do me a favor, reach behind your head. Yeah, reach behind. So we saw before we marked it, you're able to reach only up to here. Now you can reach a little further on. Okay, go ahead, reach behind your back. See, if there's something just right over here. All right, we'll get to that. And you're able to reach here, now you reach a little bit higher. So we increase your range of motion already. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at the shoulder plate. Right now we're gonna assess the the shoulder blade itself, the scapula. See, it's gliding this way without a problem. So now we start to feel there's a fixation. It doesn't glide down this way. It's able to glide this way, but not this way. 
So we have a superior medial scapula and we're going to right now pump it up, see if it needs to be addressed or not. Now because we restored the nerve function from this fifth dorsal to the subscapular bursa underneath it, that's why this scapula over here, now it's starting to loosen up. We don't need to set this at all. So right now what we're assessing is SC joint, which is fine. AC, okay, now we start to feel some crepitus. There's an issue over here. Checking glimmer humeral, right? This is also out as well. So, scapula is gliding, just fine. Now we're gonna set this fellow over here. We're gonna circumduct the glimmer humeral joint, increase some synovial fluid in there. There we go. So just a little bit. Is that the AC? Good. My low back feels much better. That's the one. This one's still. No, it's not going to be on and off switch. No. Okay. Because once again, this is more of a chronic issue. Nerves have to be regenerated into the shoulder mm -hmm. here. It takes some time. Better. Better, huh? Mm -hmm. So here's what you do, champ. Over here, okay, because it's been chronic and they operate on it, right? I need to ice this fellow over here, 20 minutes, three times a day. The same story with this fellow over here as well. Okay. All right. All right, champ. We're all set. Thank you. Oh, you're very That's welcome. Good. Thank you.